For those of you that remember, Mask Prompter has now been upgraded and we now have Mask Prompter 2. For anyone who has the previous plugin, you can easily switch over and have the new and improved version. Now, the great thing about this is that you can now target and select parts of your video, whether it's an eagle or you've got yourself someone in the video. All you need to do now is just simply search for the Mask Prompter plugin effect and it will be this one right here by Binance Plugins. Same as always, drag and drop this onto your video clip. And now you will notice you have the text prompts option right here. And all you need to do is you want to first of all add text input. This will give you a pre-created prompt right here. So where it says Barbie world. To actually enter this and type in your own custom words, it's a little bit strange because what you have to do is you have to select it and then press enter. Once you've done that, just simply type in what you wanted to select. You then want to press enter. And then from here, we also have to select the text prompt layer to Eagle. Sometimes it may take a little bit longer for it to register, but as you can see, it has targeted this Eagle and created this selection. As always, we can also change the mode at the bottom to either matte. We can change it to transparent, which will automatically remove the background. And you can also do the same as before where you can use some of the refinements such as the HD or legacy. And you'll also notice if you go onto the key and model, you will have some ones at the bottom that are new, such as the Sam 2 Tiny and some of the other ones. Personally, for me, my favorite is the Robust 2024. This one works really well, or you can also use a detailed map. You can even go with high quality, but some of them have advantages and disadvantages. One of them, of course, being longer processing time. But as you can see, this one looks really good. I'm really happy with this. We can also increase the resolution if we wanted to. We can take this option if we want it nice and detailed. We also have some other options at the bottom if we want to use the hardware acceleration. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can enable this and it will speed up the process. Now, with that being said, let's say we wanted to also add in a video in the background now to see the results. All we need to do is go over to the project and we're just going to drag and drop, let's say, a USA flag because America. It's done a really good job. Both videos play. It'll be a little bit slow at the moment. You can also add in additional refinements such as an advanced spill suppressor, which will, if I can spell it right, advanced. There we go. I got there eventually advanced spill suppressor. You want to drag and drop this onto your video. And what this will do is this will control the color fringe and the color splash onto your subject. If you set this to ultra, you will have a nice clarity between the natural colors rather than the video before. You can see we have a lot of green around here. You can just set it in here. You can also target any type of color just by changing it in here. And then finally, if your edges are really soft, like mine, as you can see on the beak, it is really soft. Something that I like to do is I like to duplicate this layer by pressing Control or Command in D, and this will just harden it up a little bit more. Sometimes this can work, sometimes it may not work. You can see we now have this additional line right here, which doesn't look great. So you may need to just trial and error, see what works for you. And there we have it, there is our video. It's struggling a little bit on the nose, but if you want to fix this, what you can do is you can either get yourself some additional boxes like this one, or you can just add in another text prompt and just type in Eagle Beak. We're going to add it onto here and there we go. That has fixed it. And another great reason why this is such a cool feature is because if you have, let's say this video right here and you apply the effect, we're going to, same as last time, add in the text input. And we're just going to type in woman. Same as before, select it from here. It selected the person, but not the actual object or the stick. And this is when we can also add in additional text prompts by getting ourselves another one. We can once again select this one and this time type in wooden stick. Press enter. Once again, you need to make sure you select it in here, otherwise it's not going to work. 
it's now also selected this stick right here as well. We can once again set the mode to transparent, and there we go. And honestly, my favorite part about all of this is that you can use the new feature with the old features as well. Let's say that we wanted to select this red pig right here. We would type in red pig. And let's say that we also wanted the blue ball. We can once again type in here and then select it. And let's say that we wanted to track the yellow one. We can use the same features as before just by using the shape tool, making sure you are selecting the video, dragging yourself a box selection, and then once again, setting this one to mask one. And there we go, we now have all three objects selected. With this one, we would just simply have to track it by getting ourselves the tracker. We select the mask, and then we would just track the position, possibly even the position and rotation. Let's move this one further out. Make sure we are selecting all of it right up to here. They track it forwards. We have a nice tracking. You may also like part one, which will show you the basic features and some other ways that you can use this plugin. But with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.